Hello all and welcome to our third and final week of this class. You'll notice that this week the um, plan is to talk about plot and conflict. Uh, conflict is really crucial for plot. As I said in my first video, we tend to avoid conflict. Uh, we like clam up, we get anxious, um, we avoid conflict in our everyday lives. And as Lorraine Herring, my mentor, has often said, um, you can have a healthy and happy life avoiding conflict, but you definitely need to have conflict in your stories because that's fuel for story. Um, as I often will say to my students, you can't have stories about happy people in happy land, so you definitely need to be able to embrace conflict there because that is where the direction of your story goes. Um, I have included two videos that I filmed several years ago even though they're old and kind of grainy and just really not the best quality videos, note to self, I should refilm. Um, they are, the, the content of them is still uh, timeless. Um, so I want you to take a look at the story structure, how conflict fits in with the story structure. And we've spent a lot of time talking about characterization and your dreaming phase and everything building up to this point. And it is at this point where you kind of dovetail that information in because you need to know who your character is in order to know how they're motivated. Um, knowing how they're motivated will lead to their driving question, and then it's that driving question which fuels the story by fueling conflict. Sorry, loud airplane. Um, by fueling that conflict there, um, and that will allow you to know which scenes are then going to follow, which scenes are important, which scenes to have earlier in the story, which scenes to have later. So. Um, I hope this is a good week, very instructive for you. Um, as always, be sure to use those discussion boards to ask if you have any questions. Have a good week, and thank you for being part of my class.